Hi, all. I'm Dan Smakerod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Today is Thursday, January 19th, 2023, and you're watching WGAN-TV Live at 5. We have an awesome show for you today. Sales, lead, generation, and real-time insights for Matterport tours powered by Zuant. And here to talk to us about that, our subject matter experts are... Pete Gillette, Chief Executive Officer of Zuant, and Dave Hickson, Chief Technology Officer of Zuant. Pete, Dave, good to see you. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for sharing your expertise with us today. Hello, Dan. Good to join you this evening. Uh, nice to be here, Dan. Yes, and I, I know we're live at 5 uh, Eastern time. You all are in uh, in uh, England, uh, the United Kingdom. So thanks for staying up late for today's show to be our, our guest today. Uh, uh, Pete, so that we have some context for today's topic, how about telling us about uh, Zuant? Sure, yes, delighted. Um, really, I mean, it's quite interesting to compress, isn't it? The last couple of years, we've all got stories because of the pandemic. Um, but, but basically, our business over the last couple of decades has all been about good quality data, and particularly generating good quality sales leads in, in the sales and marketing industry. Um, and our Zuant Classic lead capture app has, has been used at literally thousands of of exhibitions around the world. And um, I would say about 200 current uh, top level corporate clients use the product. Uh, companies like 3M, Tesla, Verizon, Thermo Fisher in the uh, biotech industry, just to, to name a few. Um, and, and they have a problem uh, capturing leads generally at, at these shows because there are just so many systems to, to rent um, at, at the shows around the world. So it, it's very much having a, a better system, a better mousetrap for, for capturing sales leads consistently as a quality process running from show to show to show through the year. So you've got good data to compare and, and better leads to feed those hungry salespeople. So that, that's very much the background to, to our business, which is uh, growing nicely until um, covid reared its its ugly head and uh, we've all got those stories to tell uh, the grandchildren um from, from you know where were we when the pandemic struck but as we all know the event industry was was hit particularly badly and and it screeched to a halt just in a matter of days you know we were flying out to shows and the flights were stopped and 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 you know that was it no business so we had to uh, keep Dave and his team busy doing something during the last couple of years. And as often happens in life, you just get that sort of chance occurrence. And, and in this case, it was a, a phone call from Airbus Industries a couple of months after the pandemic started. And they'd been recommended to talk to us because we were into 3D and our product was going to be ideal for them because they couldn't, or their salespeople couldn't demonstrate their new aircraft at, at either Paris or, or uh, Farnborough Air Show that year. And, um, we, you know, we had to politely decline. And uh, it was very nice of whoever introduced them. But that just set the thinking going. And uh, here we are two and a half years later uh, with a fully developed product. Uh, we quickly researched the market. Matterport um, seemed to be um, ahead of the game and, and uh, was an ideal partner for us. They're very keen as well um, to, to work with us. And, and we've built up a good relationship with them. Um, and uh, our traditional Zuant exhibitors now use Zuant 3D. Companies like Honeywell um, are, are finding it really helpful to extend the value of their shows. So if they're a show, they sometimes spend a million dollars, say, on a three-day show and the booth then gets scrapped. Well, let's have a digital twin, make that available to the salespeople to allow that show to live on for weeks or months afterwards so that they can present individually to their, their customers and, and prospects and, and get more return on investment. 
So one of the key things, of course, back to our core product is the lead capture side that we've added to the, the Matterport package, um, plus a number of other embellishments that, that Dave's going to tell you about, about later. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that takes us back here, start of 2023. Just had two huge shows, CES, of course, in Vegas, and then uh, the other side um, of the country, NRF, the big retail show, I think, finishes today. Um, and I've just seen the statistics coming through. Um, those shows uh, are breaking the records for attendance, you know, back to 2019, early 2020. Um, um, volumes of, of visitors. So that's great news. Um, so got that core business. We've, we're very excited about the 3D space um, and the fact that that can open up so many new markets for us, hospitality, hotels, retail, um, on top of our, our core industrial base uh, with these applications that at the end of the day, need to create better experiences and more sales leads. That's that's what uh, generates the cash at the end of the day. So pleasure awesome. to show you, Dan. Awesome, thank you. Uh, uh, Dave, how about taking us into a demo of Matterport plus Zuant so that we can understand the sales lead generation and real-time insights uh, and I think it's probably helpful, particularly for Matterport service providers. You can go ahead and share your screen if you want. But for for for, for Matterport service providers that are watching the show today, to to know that there is a special offer from Zuant for your first twenty Matterport tours to uh, include free use of Zuant. Uh, and so I think that Matterport plus Zuant, I, a great slide, uh, uh, equal sales leads. I think the context for what Dave is going to show us now is while there are paid features, we're only going to look at the moment as here's all the, the things that you can get totally free for your first 20 Matterport tours uh, when you sign up with uh, Zuant 3D, Zuant3D.com. Uh, Dave? Yes, thank you, Dan. Uh, so this slide does tell a story. Um, a good way to describe Zuant 3D is that it, it just does add sales lead generation to Matterport. Uh, so it's for companies who want to use Zuant 3D to help sell their products and services with Matterport as the backdrop, if you like. Uh, so for the demo today, uh, we're going to look at Zuant 3D from a, a couple of different perspectives. Uh, and we'll start with the perspective of the visitor, uh, or rather the customer, and what they'll experience. Uh, so for the purpose of the demo, if you imagine we're an office furniture consultancy who help okay. companies. Uh, Dave, I'm still looking at a slide that says Matterport plus Zuant 3D equals sales lead. So uh, Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> I'm just introducing the, uh, the, the first bit of the demo, really, Dan. Um, so I've got a web link. So I, I want to go in. I'm, I'm not going to show the 3D portal just yet. I'm going to show the visitor experience. Uh, so I have a, a web link in my clipboard. This is a web link that, uh, as a company, you can send out to your customers. Um, it could be a web link that you've put on your website or made available via social media or email campaign. But typically, we have a web link, and we'll just drop that into a browser window. And then we'll see what a visitor sees. So you sent this link to a potential customer. They click on it, paste it into the browser, uh, and they'll be dropped into the relevant Matterport space. So here we are. So we've got Matterport in the background. You see that OK? Great. Uh, and Zoom 3D pops up this uh, contact capture dialogue, because the first thing we need to do is just find out who the visitor is. Uh, so I'll be a fictitious visitor called Fred Dart.
And so for so, clarification, in order to visit this Matterport tour, uh, the visitor needs to complete this lead generation form. Yes. Uh, in the current version, you, you can't get beyond this dialogue without popping your details in uh, and then consenting to the privacy policy. Okay, so once you've done that, then the Let's Get Going button becomes enabled. So you now know who the visitor is. We'll click the Let's Get Going button, and we're just dropped into Matterport. So this is now just very standard Matterport. Uh, I'm now Fred Dart, who's looking around in the Herman Miller showroom. Um, and let's imagine that what Fred's really after are some, some of those very lovely, very expensive Herman Miller chairs uh, that we all would like. Be, I don't have one of those yet. I'm sure you've got that uh, on your list. Um, so it looks like reception seating over there. Uh, let's take a trip down here in the space, see if we can find some of those chairs. So I'm now wandering around in the space. Uh, this looks like it's just more reception seating or sort of breakout zone type seating. Let's have a look over here, I wonder in this direction. Uh, so I've got some chairs here on this racking, but that doesn't look like the, the sort of premium chairs that I'm, I'm after. So let's keep going. Uh, some more breakout zone areas here. It's not quite what I'm after. Oh, hang on a minute. What have we got going over here? Right, this looks more like it. So here are the Herman Miller premium chairs looking very nice. So this is the sort of thing I'd like. I can hover on these tags. We've got the air on the chair, uh, the embodied chair. So this is looking good. I've got some white ones here. These look quite nice. Uh, the mirror two chair looks good. Sail chair. So this is more like it. Now, remember, what we're doing here is we are Fred, and we've all been observing Fred's journey through the space. And before Zoom 3D came along, we'd be none the wiser as to what Fred has been doing, what he's been looking at, what his journey has been. But now what we can do is head over to the back end portal, and we can actually see some rather interesting things about Fred's journey. So I'll just move on over to the portal. And I'm going to refresh this list of activity. What Zoom 3D has been doing, it's been recording all of that activity from Fred. Uh, and we can see that here. So it's in reverse chronological order. So the latest thing is at the top uh, where he hovered on the sail chair. And if you look down this list, then we can see all of the things that Fred did. So each step that he took, and he hovered on a, on a tag, everything he did has all been recorded as individual time-stamped activities. So you've got the whole list here. So we're now looking at this back at our HQ. Um, and it's very interesting to see. We've got charts as well as a view charts menu item up here, top left, I'll click that. Uh, and that will show us uh, some aggregations really of not just Fred, but all of the data uh, for all of the visitors. Uh, this is just a demo account. You can see here, total activities so far in this account, 453. You've got some pie charts there showing how much time has been spent in the different spaces that we have and some other interesting stats. But of more interest, really, uh, on the sales lead front, uh, menu at the top here, we've got sales leads. So I'll click on the leads link. And this will now show us um, the actual sales leads. And you can see Fred, again, it's in reverse chronological order at the moment. So we've got Fred Dart at the top. Uh, and Look across to the column on the far right, the status of this lead for Fred Dart is that it's in progress. Okay, because he's currently in there wandering around. You can see column to the left, the activity count, there are 35 activities for Fred. Okay. And if I click on this lead, 
then it will actually show me the individual activities for Fred. Okay, so I can get in and see all the detail. But it's interesting just to see the aggregation there. And eventually the system will detect that Fred is no longer moving around in the space. And it will then wrap up all of these activities and it will conclude the lead. If you look at the other leads, certainly if we look at the column on the far right again, we can see they're all concluded. So once that happens, then the system will email the details of the lead um, to whoever you want to be notified. So you can set up multiple email recipients who will then receive an email saying, what you'd like to know that Fred Dart um, has just been visiting this particular space and um, here's all of the information. So that's all then readily available. So while we wait uh, for that to conclude, because once it's concluded, we can just pop in and see the email that will be sent. Uh, what I'd like to do is just uh, divert over to show you what's involved in setting up one of these experiences. Okay, so let's go and look at uh, our lead capture spaces menu at the top again. I'll click on the lead capture spaces link, and that will take us in uh, to look at the existing spaces that we have. Uh, and in this account, uh, we've currently got four experiences. And you can see on the far right, but our Herman Miller London show. So what I'd like to do now is, is create another space, apply sales lead generation to a different space. So I haven't got IKEA in here. As the consultancy firm, there's, there's a whole load of different showrooms that I might want to pop in here. Um, so I'm going to pop up, and I'm now looking at Matterport. So what I need to do is go into Matterport and grab the share link for the Matterport space that I want to use uh, in my lead generation space. So here is it's IKEA Poland. Uh, I've got lots of different countries in my accounts here. Uh, so I'm going to click in to explore this space. And once I've clicked into the space, then if we look down towards the bottom right, there's a share this space icon. If I click that, this brings up the link that you can use to share the space. Okay, so there it is in front of us. I'll click the copy button. So that's now just grabbed that share link okay so let's come back into our portal and i'll click the create lead capture space the blue button top right and all i do is paste that particular link uh, in the box it then recognizes that yep yeah, that's ikea poland i can change this title let's just call it ikea for now click on the let's go button uh, and that will now create the Zoom 3D experience based upon that particular space. So now we see it over on the left there. Uh, so job done. There's a small ellipsis menu here over on the right for that space. If I click that, then I've got a copy public URL link. So if I copy that URL, I'll click that now. Okay, so that's got me the, the URL. And now I can just nip over, let's nip to Opera. So now uh, we can pop that in. And it will now take us in uh, to that particular space and it will capture everything that we do in here. So again, this is uh, a link that we could have sent to somebody else. Agree to the privacy policy. Well, let's get going. So now we're in the space, it's tracking our activity. I can go in and have a look around here, do whatever I like. Uh, let's nip back to the portal here. And what I'm going to do is show you something else, which is our radar. So it's tracking all of that activity, it'd be generating a lead. I click on the radar link in the menu at the top, and that will give us a radar. It gives us radars into all of the activity in real time. Okay. Now I've just created 
that particular experience. So what I'll need to do is add a radar. And it will show me IKEA here is the only one that's, that I haven't got. So let's select IKEA. We'll use the radar and appears in the sidebar. OK, and we can see here we've got Tom White in IKEA. He's showing on the radar alongside some other people. We've got Fred Dart, but who we already observed moving around uh, in the Herman Miller showroom. And we've got a couple of other people, Meredith Samson and Steve Williams, are also in Herman Miller. So this radar screen gives you a real time view uh, into what everybody's up to, and it shows you what they're looking at. So we can see Fred Dart looking at the chairs. They're the last thing that he looked at. Tom White has just moved into IKEA. Uh, and if we let's move around a little bit, let's go and have a look at these gray chairs look quite interesting. Let's pop back to our radar. You can see that the Tom White radar is looking at the chairs. So we can observe our visitors across all of our spaces in real time. And in an upcoming version of Zoom 3D, uh, you'll be able to uh, initiate uh, interaction with your visitors either through chat or through video. Uh, and that this user interface that you see here will be your route. So for clarification, those would, be, those would be paid features. Uh, yes, I suppose that's a conversation uh, for, to have with Pete. So not to confuse our view viewers, if we can stay focused on just the stuff that's totally free for up to 20 yeah. Matterport spaces. And uh, just for clarification on Tom White, who's looking at that space, that large nine means that he's had, is that nine scans that, or is that nine interactions, meaning clicked on a Matterport tour and moved on eight scans? Yes, it, it's... Um... It's the lead score, the number that you see there. And it's typically the more activities that you perform, that there's one point per activity. Uh, but we're working on some algorithms there. And we'll probably have the ability to score things differently. So you can bump up somebody's points. Uh, okay. and I can... But again, that sounds like it's a paid feature. So let's defer to, to, to Pete sure. on, on that. So uh, again, just for clarification, for those that are interested in taking advantage of the uh, Zuant uh, 3D free offer for the first 20 Matterport tours, what we're looking at is part of what you get. And you can have some sense of how engaged or involved the user is based on those large numbers indicating the number of activities that they've done within that Matterport space, whether that is going from one scan point to the next or triggering a matter tag. Exactly. Everything I've shown you is free. Okay, including the radar. So having seen that, we've, we've seen how to create a Zoom 3D experience, very straightforward by pasting the link. Let's just knit back to our sales leads. Okay, uh, and we'll refresh that. We've got Tom at the top, uh, he's in progress, but we can see that Fred Dart um, has concluded his sales lead at 35 activities. So if I nip over to the actual email account, which is associated uh, with this, here's the email that's come in at the very top, 3D visit for Fred Dart. Let's have a look at that. Uh, and it just says, yeah, Thought you'd like to know, Fred Darts completed a visit to Herman Miller London showroom. Uh, the activities are there. Uh, so the, the email just comes in automatically. Uh, and you'll just get a, a whole list of those coming through. So you don't even have to go onto the back end. So uh, Dave, you, if you could go back to that, that email one more time, please, on Fred Dart. Sure. So if uh, I'm the Matterport service provider, this is my account. That's the email that I just got alerting me that Fred Dart has looked at my Matterport space. Uh, I noticed uh, it says unnamed point or unnamed scan point. Does, does that mean I can name the scan points within the Matterport tour? Uh, you can, but not in the uh, free version. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. 
So I think later on, Pete will show us um, the, the paid version uh, that has all manner of other capabilities, including guided navigation. And the guided navigation really is all about um, dividing up your space into defined areas, named points, named zones. Okay, so all right, let's, let's save that for Pete because that's gonna sure. be on the, on the paid side. So, yeah. uh, so just to clarify is that for up to 20 Matterport spaces, you can do Matterport plus Zuant with no charge for the Zuant service and that that includes lead capture, uh, the radar, the email notification, and activity tracking. Yep. Am I leaving something out? Uh, I, capture. So, so you're capturing the lead. That's the form that went into my Matterport tour then you're tracking the activity as the user moves through the space, goes from scan point to scan point, opens matter tags, you're logging those activities. There is the lead generation, so that there's a dashboard that has all the leads. Uh, you didn't demo, but you could export that CVS file to import into a database program. Uh, or to use it uh, for email purposes, and that there's also the email notification. Uh, and, and, I, and there was the dashboard that had all kinds of interesting metrics. Uh, is, is that the radar view of the metrics? Uh, well, the radar view is just a real-time view of the activity that's going on across all of your spaces. You can mm -hmm. narrow it down to just a couple or the selected spaces that you want to monitor in real time. And then the charts that you see in the activity area, um, again, you can filter all of these things and say, look, I'd like to, to break it down just to a particular time zone, time slot, uh, a particular experience. Uh, you can even search for individuals within that data. So you can slice and dice the data any way you like and then it just shows you various charts the charts do become more interesting once you start to to name the points you get a lot of data on what's the most popular point that people went to but uh, again in the free version uh, you get those charts you you get the the, the lead um, being created emailed to you and so forth so I, I think yeah I think we've covered everything that the free version has to offer Okay, great. I'll I'll come back and ask you some follow up questions, but I'd like to see. Okay, Pete, what is it that it comes with the paid version of Zuant? Okay. So here we have the brand new corporate styling for a Lotus showroom. Um, Lotus Cars have recently launched their new Amira sports car to compete with Porsche and even Ferrari. So they're very excited to roll out this new branding, this new um, in-store, in-showroom design to their dealers around the world. Uh, so this, this is the first one that's been completed. So you'll immediately see now that you've got this black box on the right hand side, which is the, the navigation um, box that comes with the, the pro and, and business and, and enterprise versions of, of Zoom 3D. Um, and, and as you've seen, this just adds another dimension because um, as you've seen Dave walking through the Herman Miller showroom, um, yeah, it's quite nice to browse and wander around as you would in a, a real life store looking for the, the item uh, the, you're particularly hunting out. Um, but let's speed up that process and make that navigation much easier for, for the viewer. So um, on the right here, you've got a, a good example. You can create journeys through any space. Let's go into the showroom. Um, I, you know, I can look around and look at the cars that are on display, some of the older models, the historic Lotus products. 
And uh, yeah, here's the new Amira, looks really nice. Um, and the real show car is the one in, in Nimbus Grey. So let's navigate across to the Nimbus Grey um, Amira. Look at some of the, the stats, um, particularly interested in the, the engine. So 3.5 litre supercharged V6. 400 brake horsepower, that's pretty tasty. Um, you know, Lotus has often been criticized for having great handling and performance, but lacking in the, the interior uh, quality and, and uh, competing with the luxury side. So getting actually inside the car and, and looking at the, the fit and the finish um, looks pretty good. Um, Let's go back, have another look at the outside. So we're sort of speeding up the process of, of looking at, at a vehicle. And uh, wherever you are in a space, you can have a different narrative. You can have links through to, to more data on a website. And everything you do as a visitor through the black box navigation panel um, is recorded as one of those steps in in the sales lead that Dave's been showing you. Um, so I want to to play around with the color schemes and the the options. Well, let's wander across to the the configuration table for the uh, the Lotus range. And and here's the example. Clicking off into the Lotus website itself. Actually, perhaps I'm interested in the new electric Lotus, hypest SUV, as they call it. And then we can go off and reserve the car, set up the different uh, color schemes. And, so and, on. and for, for, for clarification, we are still within the Zuant player, even though we are on the Lotus website. Yes, it's still recording the fact that I've gone off from Zuant 3D, but that will still appear in the lead. So and we're in, can... in, in an embedded experience with a, a, a Zuant embed player within the Lotus website? No, it's not embedded. It's just a link through to the website. So it's recording the fact that I've gone off. Ah, so once you've clicked on that link to, the, uh, to, to their website, to the Lotus website, then the tracking has stopped. Um, it, it hasn't stopped. It's, it's paused because I've gone in, off into that area. Yes. Um, but as soon as I come back into the experience, I'm still being recorded as I was before. Okay. In, in all of the steps and, and activities that I've taken. Okay. Uh, so, I see something in the bottom right. Yes, that's just a little dialogue box. If you want to ask a question um, as part of your visit. So there's the, the opportunity to do that. And likewise, if I go off into the activity side, you'll see how that's all been recorded. Okay, so here we are. And yes, so it's giving me the time I've spent um, looking around the configurator um, on the separate website, as well as all of the other things that I've looked at during and my so, time in that, that showroom. I'm sorry, excuse me, Pete. So for, for clarification, since we can see uh, where it says point, I presume that's a scan point. That's a rotation of the Matterport camera. Yes. And and with a paid version of Zuant, 
you can label the scan points so that you can visualize what people were doing within the tour itself. For sure, absolutely. Okay. And, and within the navigation panel, you can have different um, presentations of, of copy and text and links relating to what you're looking at from each scan. Okay. So uh, were, there, were there other paid features that you wanted to show us? Well, to show how this works on a larger scale, because obviously a car showroom, you've got you know, a number of, of individuals going through it at, at any particular time. Um, what about the, the big corporate manufacturer? So here's a, a hydrogen ecosystem um, gigafactory that was launched at the end of the last year by Plug Power uh, in New York State. And in the old days, you would actually invite the media and select VIP <clears throat> visitor um, guests to an event like that at, at great expense and, and maybe limited to the number of people that, that you could afford to invite or physically have space to invite. So these guys said, no, let's use Matterport 3D within the Zoom 3D system um, as part of their launch webinar. And, and this really shows the power of the system in terms of handling a huge volume of activities in right. a very... Excuse me, I'm looking at a still picture. I presume that's a Matterport tour and we could walk into the building. Yes, indeed. So the, the CEO of, of, of Plug Power, also for confidential reasons of some, some, some new um, technology at play. Um, and, and so he was particularly keen on making sure that this guided tour only focused on the areas that he wanted his customers to see. So okay. there is a sequence that was created so that we go straight into the lobby. We have Matterport video presentations at each step. So here's a, a welcome to the plant um, and uh, that introductory video. And then the navigation black box is used to take you from stage to stage through the plant with different video presentations by the managers in, in each of those areas. Um, and, and you're restricted to one view. So you can certainly look around from the one scan point, um, but it takes you through the factory and, and jumps you from section to section. Um, and and this is, there's another little point here that we can add. It, it, it's not a feature of this particular demonstration, but uh, we've got the concept of hyper jumps available in the paid uh, Zoom 3D system so that uh, for clients like Therma Fisher, they have laboratories, as you can imagine, all around the world. And they like to hyper jump from one laboratory to another to demonstrate different technical instruments in, in the range. So that's another feature available. Uh, within the whole navigation package. So to put this into context, to look at the, the sheer volumes involved here. So this was last middle of October, I believe. Um, and, and it's interesting to see um, that in addition to myself, of, you know, from time to time, there are a corporate visitors going into the site on a daily basis to look around. So that's extended the use of this particular promotion. And then if I change the date range to cover that period, So it's rerunning. Well, it's fascinating to see 
the spike of activity uh, literally within an hour, 90 minutes. During that webinar, uh, we had over 64,000 activities. By um, at that moment, it was um, approximately 1,600 unique visitors all taking the tour. And, and clearly, they were heavily engaged, you know, 66 activities per visitor uh, with a wealth of information um, about particular points that they visited. Uh, some of the top visitors here will it exclude Dave, of course, um, but uh, outsiders uh, have been in that space for, for nearly five hours. So goodness knows what they were looking at which points were most popular, which areas did they depart from? So it's quite interested, interesting to see how uh, you can change a tour to, to, to keep people in a space longer, if that's what you want to do to show them um, more, more items. So yes, um, when we're going into all of these different markets, it, it just shows that this could be scaled. So, you know, for a large retail outlet, for, for instance, with, with hundreds of visitors on a, an hourly basis, um, then there's no reason why we couldn't use 3D to, to keep track of all those people and, and view what was most interesting um, through different parts of the week, different seasons, different presentations in store. Uh, so I think this is going to be fascinating to see how this is applied in new industries like retail. Thank you, Dan. Did you want to talk about Zuant Cloud at all? Uh, yes, that's, that's definitely worth a mention. Uh, so the Zuant Cloud portal um, has, has been developed um, over the years to support the, the classic app. So it gives you all of the metrics um, like Zoom 3D, if you're at a trade show scanning badges and, and capturing leads, um, it gives you the, the profile of those, those visitors. Um, but in the paid packages, you have the option to connect your leads into the Zoom Cloud portal to open up um, two other important aspects of functionality. Um, one of those is a, a thank you email. Thanks for your visit. Uh, maybe putting links to specific content um, as, as a really nice touch to follow up the visit. Um, and more importantly, it gives you access to the whole integration uh, engine so that if you want your leads um, coded with a campaign and event ID, um, so that they then go through and get distributed to the sales team in, in Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics and or a marketing automation package like Eloqua or HubSpot, um, then the, uh, the Zoom Cloud portal uh, just plugs in quite nicely to, to Zoom 3D and gives you that extra uh, set of capabilities. So if you're an enterprise client and you have a need for a CRM integration, uh, uh, multiple team members, uh, access to the data. Uh, you, is there anything else about enterprise that you all, that Zuant provides? Um, I think, I think those are the main things that would okay. relate to, to the 3D side. There's the complete content management system. And, uh, once again, Dave's going to talk a little bit about the future, uh, and that's going to be quite relevant to, to add, uh, the oh, content sure. management side into 3D to, to add more richness in the future, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, uh, Dave, you want to talk about the future of Zuant? Uh, what's coming? What's your roadmap? Uh, sure. I can give you a preview into what the, the R&D team are working on. Uh, so let's have a look at some of those. Uh, first one to mention, we've already touched on it really. Um, it's a sort of receptionist. So we've seen the radar uh, and 
you'll be able to, from the radar screen, initiate conversations with the visitors. Uh, that could be text or it could be video. So we see here what the visitor would see. Uh, so if we embed uh, a receptionist into the black box, then the visitor can be moving around a particular space. They've got the black box there. Uh, they can receive an invite uh, from an agent uh, saying, would you like some assistance with that? Uh, and then we can just fire up a video chat um, and they can, the agent can see what the visitor is seeing, uh, chat over a video link uh, to help them uh, through the space. And uh, again, with a focus on um, looking at uh, selling. Uh, that's so, cool. Let me see if I understand that for clarification. If you're an enterprise client, one of the features that's coming with Zuant is the ability to do live guided chat within a Matterport tour powered by Zuant. So if I'm in a retail store and I'm looking at a refrigerator and I got some questions about it, uh, rather than do doing a perhaps a text chat, I could actually do a video chat with uh, the agent that's looking at the same screen, the same refrigerator I am, and perhaps help close the sale with the three questions that I have about that refrigerator. But much more eloquently put than my own words there, Dan. Yes, absolutely right. And, and the agent could be watching the radar screen and could initiate the chat from there, or the visitor could request a chat from their end so it's sort of bi-directional initiation. Ah, but so, yes, com awesome. Completely ah, Dan, I see that you're looking at this uh, awesome refrigerator. Happy to chat with you and help answer questions about it. So uh, the 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 video chat, the live guided tour could in be initiated either by the agent or by the user of the tour or both. Yes. Uh, and that's where we feel there's value uh, in scoring points. So if someone's actually got inside the Lotus Emira, okay, then maybe we'll bump them up and give them 20 points just because they went to a particular point within the space. They then appear in the radar at the top of the radar. So the agent could be seeing 50 uh, real-time radar snapshots, but the top five have got the highest scores. So they're the ones that they want to go and, and chat with. So in this case, uh, Dave, your client, uh, let, let's say Lotus, for example, uh, as an enterprise client might say, you know, when people spend this amount of time inside the car, uh, the likelihood of their purchase intent is super high. Uh, so we'd like to engage them immediately in a live guided chat. Exactly. And and radar, one of the concepts behind radar that you haven't seen um, is the ability to filter the snapshots that you see. So it could be that if someone spends at least three minutes inside the car, then they pop up on the radar. Okay, Or if they've been inside the entire space for six and a half minutes, then they pop up on the radar. So you could have lots of people wandering about, but it's only once they satisfy certain criteria that as they set appear by the on the client. radar. As set by the yes. client, as yes. set by the enterprise client. Okay, great. So yeah. that sounds like an awesome feature, live guided chat, video chat. Uh, yeah, we're, we're quite excited about that one. Yeah, today um, is Thursday, January 19th, 2023. When's that feature available for enterprise? Oh, crikey. You're talking to the one of the developers here, Dan, the guy who runs the development team. So I'd never commit to any sort of <laughs> any delivery date on that. He could probably give you a date, but he'd just be making it up. 2024, 2025. Oh, I would hope. If you ask me, you this. could have it have it tomorrow, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> yeah. So let let's hear from the chief executive officer, Pete. When uh, when will this feature be available? This is, this is top of the list and uh, we'll certainly, we're doing tests uh, with our call center partner. Um, I guess they're going to start before the end of Q1. Ah, um, new and, feature. And then, uh, please talk to us about uh, uh, call center. Yes, indeed. So for the whole lead management, response management, multilingual handling, um, one of the the networks that, that we've developed over the last 20 years is a call center network. 
they're all privately owned call centers um, within each major industrial nation. So it started across Europe with quite a, a comprehensive network, expanded to the States, uh, Mexico, South Africa, Middle East, and Asia Pacific region. So they have a multitude of, of tasks from cleaning leads, making uh, appointments for salespeople in different languages. And uh, so they're ideally suited to be sitting there ready to dive into 3D conversations um, for, for different clients if those enterprise clients don't have the internal capacity to do that themselves. Okay, so you're an enterprise client. You you want to have live guided chat. You're not ready to, to train your internal or external call center uh, uh, Zuant has a call center client that's happy perhaps to provide tier one support on whatever those filters are before that uh, that super hot lead is turned over to the client. Indeed, exactly okay. right. All right, yeah. so we've talked about two awesome coming soon features, uh, call center implementation, live guided chat. Uh, Dave, what else is on your roadmap? Yeah, okay, so... I think I quite deftly avoided that question. I'm impressed. <laughs> you, you, you did very well, but uh, we, we go yeah. to the marketing person who immediately tells us yesterday you can have it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, <laughs> I'm used to that. So here we go with, with another feature in R&D, uh, which uh, is called Microforms. Basically, we've seen the black box. Uh, well, we have a concept of a white box. So the black box will turn into the white box that contains a microform typically just a single question. So at a particular point, when they get to a point in the space, it thinks, oh, it will be handy to ask them a particular question at this point. So have you driven a Lamborghini before? And it could be that it pops up, not just because they've arrived at a point, because they've been in the space for two minutes or they've just arrived. So there'll be a number of criteria again to say, well, let's ask them this particular question. And you've seen the activity list, the way that's aggregated into the lead, so the answers to these questions uh, will go into the activities. Uh, they can be scored. They can trigger radar views, et cetera. So that, uh, that's micro forms uh, right is that there. Called, is that micro form? Is, is that a content billboard or is content billboard something else? No, let's, let's, let's look at content billboard right okay. now. And and then I, I see, uh, I had a note here about uh, CAD 3D, something you want yeah. to tell us about that? I've got both of those things lined up here, Dan. You're, you're on top of me here. So here we go with the billboard. And again, at the bottom, uh, it, this can be triggered by arriving at a particular point or looking in a particular direction. And we think, okay, let's show them some marketing literature. Let, let's show them some additional content. So at the bottom, uh, this billboard letterbox shaped panel at the bottom will swing into view. Uh, and then as they move away from this point, then it will swing out of view. And you can say, well, look, when we're looking at this particular car and Aventador, uh, let's pop up a billboard that shows some prices and colors. Uh, they could interact with this. Uh, when they're looking at other things, then we'll pop up other bits of billboard content. So the billboard, again, it's this embellishment that sits just next to the Matterport space. We have the black box, we've got the white box of microphones, we've got the billboard at the bottom. Uh, so these are all ways of extending that Matterport space, adding value to it, uh, gleaning the interest of the visitor, um, interacting with them more. So we're just building in a whole load of embellishments to the Matterport space to, to create a richer experience, really. Okay, awesome. Uh, so let me move on to CAD. So this is the final thing that I'm going to show you. Uh, and again, really courtesy of Matterport's wonderful platform, uh, you can embed 3D CAD models uh, within Matterport spaces. Uh, so the server that we're seeing in front of us with the blue lights, uh, that can be a 3D CAD model um, which we embed into the space, uh, we can spin it around, break it apart, um, do all sorts of things. So again, if you think about companies like... Uh, I don't see any movement on my screen. Are you, are you uh, showing? Not, uh, no, this is, this this is, is why I, ne 
this is yeah that's why i never commit to any delivery dates um, <laughs> i haven't even mocked up the thing being broken apart but okay so in terms of uh, adding 3d uh, models uh to matterport spaces uh, is it, will that be a feature of Zuwant to facilitate that? Yes, you, you'll be able to take your three D CAD model um, and just pop it into the space. Um, so you could have many models in there, or you could just have a, a table that's got one thing on there. But again, bringing some logic into that, it could be that if you know who the visitor is and you know the answers to some of the questions in the microform then the server that you see on the table or the electron microscope that you're putting in front of them can be a different model depending on who they are uh, and what their profile is. Okay, so we'll, we'll be building some tools. So it's very similar to, to billboards and microforms and so on. It'll just, uh, you'll be able to control those models and decide which models do you want to render into the space in real time, depending upon the profile of the visitor. Do you have a particular vertical that you think that that would uh, appeal to uh, primarily, first or second vertical for that? Well, I, I guess some of the, the biotech uh, enterprise customers, they've got lots of interesting, tasty tech uh, that they would like to pop into these spaces. Uh, so that's quite a good uh, market. That, that but, what about AEC interest. construction as built? Uh, is, is this the kind of thing where you, you might be able to pre-visualize a space with a three-dimensional something that's been added to it? Uh, you should certainly do that. I mean, there are companies, um, Matterport providers, partners who just specialize in staging spaces mm -hmm. uh, just statically. So they'll take a space i just put the stuff in there. Furniture, for example, if you've got an office. Well, this is a little bit different. So we're not talking about virtual staging because that can be done with, with Matterport. We're actually talking about Zuant enabling 3D elements to be imported into the Matterport space. And depending on who you are, it might be different for A, B, or C. Exactly. Okay. Let me switch yeah. gears. I'm a Matterport service provider. Why should I care about Zuant? Well, I think if I dive in on that one, um, that's really going to be a question of differentiation. You're a service provider, you're in a particular niche area. By using Zoom 3D, can you extend your service further, expand your markets? Uh, maybe you've been in the, the, the real estate side and you could extend into restaurants, conference venues, wedding uh, venues, and be able to provide guided tours through those locations um, as, as an enhanced service. So you, you, you're differentiated from the normal uh, video tours that, that, that are hard to sort of stop and start. You can provide more choice for your customers and, and and go into those new areas and maybe you know come into our event space you know if, if you're you're a service provider already um see what shows are around get photographing those those exhibition booths to extend the value of those you know it it, it opens up a whole uh series of, of of new markets to you potentially and and we're here to help you as well so um, if, if you contact us directly, we're, we're quite happy to put together a, a demo site so that you, you can present this to, to your clients to, to get them excited with this new tech. Okay, so uh, www.zuant.com, the specific landing page for the 3D, zuant3d.com, and uh, or reach out by email sales at zuant.com. Uh, Pete, I just want to confirm, I, I think I'm hearing three things related to Matterport service providers. First, if I'm a Matterport service provider and I'm in a busy market and I got a lot of other Matterport service providers competing with me, adding Zuant lead generation real-time insights may be a way to differentiate myself 
from other matter source, Matterport service providers to first retain my existing clients so that I'm continuing to add value to those clients so that I don't lose them to someone else. So sure. second is to use Zuant 3D as a way to get new clients in other verticals. So if you're a Matterport service provider and you've been focused on residential real estate, now you go, oh, event spaces. They really need to know who's coming and looking at the Matterport tour. Uh, so the third is to get, uh, sec the second is to get new clients. Uh, and the perhaps the third is to enter new verticals. So new clients, third, new verticals. Um, so I could imagine that the reason that you're offering the first 20 Matterport tours to be powered by Zuant at no extra charge, no charge for adding Zuant, is so that Matterport service providers can do this first and foremost with their own tours on their website to gather leads for themselves so that they can see and experience this. Second, perhaps to work with one of their lead clients to say, hey, we have this new feature. I'd like to try it out with you to see if we can help turn that Matterport tour from a tool to a lead generation solution, from a tool to a solution. Uh, are these the right kinds of concepts that a Matterport service provider should be thinking about? For sure. And, and I think if we if we work with them and create a demo site so we can take some of their best tours and add all the navigation so they've got something really nice to, to demonstrate to their clients, we're, we're more than happy to do that. Okay. So just for clarification, if I'm a Matterport service provider... And I hear this offer, which is I can get sales lead generation and real-time insights for myself on my website, on the tours that I send to a potential client. I know whether they've actually looked at it or not because they had to fill out the form. Then I can see how much time they spent in the tour. Were they really interested or, or not? So I'm getting that insight for my Matterport service provider business. Second, I'm getting that insight working with a lead client uh, a friendly client where we could try something new and it's not going to cost them because I can use some of my 20 for that purpose, or they can set up their own account directly and, and experiment with it. And, and the Matterport service provider can work with the client. I think I'm hearing a third thing, which is uh, uh, if you're a Matterport service provider and you have some ideas for a specific client and you want to try something out, uh, Zuant is more than willing to, to meet you more than halfway and to help uh, build out an example uh, that may help land a large client. So if you're 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 in the midst of having a conversation and you know that lead generation and real-time insights would make a huge difference, uh, then you can certainly sign up don't have to talk to Zuant, just go to Zuant3D.com, start a free trial, get your, your first 20 tours at no charge. Uh, but you could also actually uh, reach out to, to Zuant either on their website, uh, Zuant.com, or specifically the special landing page, Zuant3D.com, or sales at Zuant.com, and just raise your hand and say, hey, I'm a Matterport service provider. I need some special handling. I got something unique. Can you help me with that? Yes, exactly. Um, especially that last point, because we'll be able to add the black box and some of the, the extra features for them so they can demonstrate the navigation in particular. Okay, awesome. Uh, uh, Dave, Pete, we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, before we say bye, is there anything that we haven't discussed that we should, that we should talk about? I love that last point. And this, this is why I never commit to any delivery dates, certainly not to senior management, because there's always something coming in. Oh, somebody would like to, to build a green box that has this particular feature in there. Oh, actually, that's a fantastic idea. So I would underline that last point that we're very keen to work with people, to talk uh, with you about your ideas. So we have something that we're quite excited about 
be very interested in talking to to others and to partners to hear those ideas and and see how we could fit that into the existing product so yeah do get in touch awesome pete anything to add to that no, I think that's uh, been a really useful session, Dan. Much appreciate your your uh, comments and, and questioning. Um, hopefully, this will uh, create quite a little bit of excitement and, and give us some good feedback. Awesome. Uh, Dave, Pete, thanks for being on the show today. Thank you Our very pleasure. much, Dan. It's been a pleasure. Just to re Thank reiterate you. the websites, zoowant.com, the special landing page, zoowant3d.com. Uh, uh, email sales at zuant.com. Uh, take advantage, if you're a Matterport service provider, no brainer, take advantage of the 20 free uh, sales lead generation real time insights for your Matterport tours powered by Zuant. Uh, uh, experiment with one of your, your lead clients. And, uh, and if you got something that's hot, reach out to, to Zuant to, to get some extra help uh, landing that special client by adding. Uh, Matterport plus Zuant for sales lead generation real time insights. For Pete and Dave in uh, the United Kingdom, I'm Dan Smigbride in Atlanta, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum, and you've been watching WGAN TV live at five.